Hello, crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrap Diva 29. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on with a quick project share. Um, I have been working on some outgoing happy mail and I decided to make another tote and wallet set and I just thought I'd come on and quickly share. Um, I did post a picture on my Instagram account yesterday and I thought I'd come on and share with all of my YouTube viewers. Um, this is a Divinity Designs um, metal die set. It's one of my favorites and I basically did the same thing except for I just used different cardstock. Um, I use the Damask Love uh, paper collection and I really love this collection because I love the bright colors, the hot pink. It just, I just love it. Um, I made another little bow. I did use my Alina Crafts heart bow on this one. I did pop a button in the middle of that. Um, which I made with my button maker. Um, the wallet on this particular tote, I actually did make it functional and I used a Velcro dot. And then um, it has the little accordion, uh, um, little accordion pocket or accordion little side to, you could actually put something in it if you wanted to. Um, so I think that came out really, really cute. Um, I really hadn't done anything. I haven't really filled it yet. I started working on some rosettes. Um, for the recipient, I just put them in the handbag, but I um, just wanted to show this cute little tote. It's so cute. And this is the side. I used some gold foil cardstock on the side. And on this one, I did add some feet to the bottom. And those are those little like buttons I found at Hobby Lobby. I didn't put them on the last purse, I forgot, but I did add them to this one. So it's super cute. I love this. And I love making this as a little birthday gift for friends. Um, I just think it's a really cute um, tote to put a little gift card in. And I did make a little wallet. I used the faux leather that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And this faux leather is actually really thick. And it actually looks like a real wallet. I mean, I'm, it just really does actually. Um, I did have a little problem with my snaps because I think this particular faux leather is really, really thick. So I was having a hard time with it connecting. Um, it connected to the snap, but then this part of the snap would pop out it just wouldn't uh, stay in. So I just decided to use some um, Velcro dots on the top and the bottom just so that I would have a closure because I couldn't get that bottom snap to stay because the thickness of this faux leather was super, um, super thick. Thicker than the other ones that I had used. So anyway, quick little project share. Just wanted to jump on and share with you. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye for now.